back. This is Boomer Life on Sea Isle 650. Daddy O, sure good looking Daddy O, always cooking Daddy O, ready to go. All the girls are Daddy O, Daddy O, Daddy O. Well. You sh- holy smokes. Now, I haven't heard that song on the radio in a good long time, and, and Jillian Fullerton just lit up like a neon I know. song. The, the Fontaine wow. sisters and Daddy-O and Jillian just went, whoa, practically rose right out of her Absolutely. chair. Absolutely. We're talking with our friends from Shannon Oaks, the very musical, as it turns out, Jillian Fullerton, and uh, Sharon Ginter, uh, activities manager, also with us in studio here on Boomer Life. Uh, well, that was uh, that was fun. Now, you do you, a very musical place. I was surprised. Mm-hmm. when I toured Shannon Oaks, courtesy of my friend Sharon, mm-hmm. who uh, there's a piano, of course, but there's a whole lot of musical stuff that goes on at Shannon Oaks. I, a lot of our residents come from music backgrounds. Sure. Either they taught it or they sang in choirs. So I bring in a lot of entertainment. So last night we had um, the Deep Cove Big Band. It was fabulous. I'll so bet. It was wonderful. So we bring in the Salvation Army bands. We have a lot of bands, a lot of entertainment. Um, it might be a duo, it might be a piano player. Jennifer mm-hmm. Lauren was fantastic. Uh, yeah. yeah, we've got fabulous entertainers yeah. that the residents have really got to know. But our residents are also very talented. Mm-hmm. So a few years ago, I realized that a lot of them had sung in past. So I had one of our entertainers kind of approach me saying that, do you think your residents would like to have a choir? And I went, yes. So we have a 29-member choir, Whoa. So, which has been kind of in place for about two years now. It changes slightly, right. but it was about 29 people. And that's, they that's are a good-sized good. group, too, it's isn't it? It's a great group. We have a great – Allison is a great leader. Um, they really respect her in her teaching techniques, and they listen to her every Wednesday. If it's not birthday tea, it's choir practice. Okay. And they're dedicated. They work their appointments around it. So we're getting so good, we're going on tour. Well, there you so go. All right. So performances around town right. then. We are. So and it's great because we were doing recitals at Shannon Oaks. And last February, um, around Valentine's Day, we did a Love is in the Air. So it was really neat. We tried to kind of maybe do something a little bit different, do a whole musical. But we decided to just take a bunch of love songs from theater and um so they sang all these love songs but in between they talked about the shows that these songs were from all right okay yeah so this is from the soundtrack of south pacific or whatever absolutely so so our residents got really interactive talking about that and families and friends came in it was a saturday afternoon and it was packed we probably overdid our fire regulations, but, oh, sh- but uh, <laughs> it was fabulous. The choir was so great. Isn't so. that nice? And they're and having an the recital come up, too. It's an excellent exercise, too, because yes. it's breathing and just doing all of that. So it's wonderful for your whole system to be singing. Yeah. Absolutely. So and and yeah. for yeah. your brain as well, yeah. because oh, yeah. you're, reading tu- you're, you're reading music, you're yeah. tuning in, you're yeah. harmonizing. Right. Yeah. There's a, yeah. you're, you're really multitasking yeah. and having yeah. just a blast in the process. They are. Yeah. One of the songs, yeah. she actually didn't give them the words. They had to learn the words by practicing every week, learning the words. They didn't like that at the beginning, but they did it. And so they were so proud of themselves that yeah. they can actually do it. So it's all memory gains. It's socialization. Yeah. It's training. It's breathing. It's standing. It's, you yeah. know, it's it's wonderful. I'm so proud of them. And Jillian, we didn't get this on your list of myths, but it's certainly a popularly held one by a lot of seniors, again. Yeah. Uh, again, because they don't perhaps, they haven't connected to the changes in the seniors' retirement community industry in Canada and it's been a remarkable profound change over the last 10 to 20 years that's right they, we it don't has. have those horrible old gothic places no. anymore right. there we don't have no. old folks homes no. No. so you know uh, uh, so the the idea of going somewhere where you're literally sort of warehoused by people who exactly. don't care about you is just so wrong it's just so not like what it is now exactly a- and and a lot of it has to do jillian with independence yeah you know if i go to one of those places somebody's going to tell me what to do every waking minute of every day how much fun can that be mm-hmm. no and you this have again choice. is a yeah you have choice so there's an array of choices and so you wake up in the day and sharon will have each day a list Although you get a calendar at the beginning of a month, you'll right. have the list for the day. 
So you have a choice. I can go to exercise at 9 o'clock. I can do this at 10 o'clock. There's coffee and things. I've got my lunch date. I've got a choir practice. I've got, you know, we're going on a bus trip. We're going to you know, card games in the multipurpose room. All sorts of things. You've got choices to do. Suppose now it, it, it's it's coming up to summer. First day of summer here, as yeah. Dwayne, Dwayne has been reminding us constantly for the last hour. It's just we're only tw 48 hours away from summer. So suppose now every summer, I've just moved to Shannon Oaks, and every summer up until this year, I go back and spend some time with the family in Saskatchewan but now I live in this home so does that mean I can't go back and see my my family in Saskatchewan this summer what's going on here not at all you get your choice that's the nice thing about it. people still travel a lot of our residents still travel we actually took them a few years ago to Alaska on a cruise 36 of them Fantastic. so they you still can get out um, talking about musical things in our residents is our residents are starting to create their own activities uh -huh. one of our residents loves to do sing-alongs he's always done it all his life he was a retired pastor uh, he's probably been on the show already and um, so he just sing alongs twice a twice a month and then he also this uh, wouldn't be Jack would it's it? Jack oh, he's Jack. a wonderful he's wonderful man. he really is so twice a month he's creating these sing-alongs it's him and all the residents it's great we have another resident who loves classical music mm -hmm. so now he's doing a classical music moment so it's taking time just to listen to classical m uh, music and talking about it and talking about the composers and there's certain people that just love that so again the point here sharon is that they're not being pushed or directed into doing all of these activities right. in some cases they're actually creating the activity that's and right. you're struggling to keep up with them that's right she's exactly. facilitating things to happen too she right. will, uh, they'll come to her and say i've got this this and this i can do she'll say great let's put it in this time slot or how about this can i give you this can i provide tea and coffee right you know i mean it's all sorts really of things. exciting I mean, when I'm doing my schedule, it's sometimes hard to try and figure everything out that we want to accomplish in a month. Yeah. Wow. It is pretty yeah. amazing. Trial stays. We've only got about yes. a minute left yeah. here, and this is important. We've talked about it at length, mm -hmm. and you recommend, Jillian, uh, three and preferably five-day stay. The yes. longer, the better, just in terms of giving the place mm -hmm. and yourself a chance. Exactly. So just how do we arrange this? How do we give do it? Give us a call. Call us at 604 326 324 Okay. 604-324-6257. That's Shannon Oaks in Vancouver. A phone for a trial stay. And uh, we'll set it up. Do give us some time, though. Well, expect expect a, a wait of mm -hmm. probably about a month from there. If you pick up the phone today, right. it's likely going to be at least a month before you can make that yes. trust. Tra but you can't you can't have the stay in a month if you don't make the phone call today. Exactly. So exactly. ShannonOaks.com, by the way, if you didn't get uh, Jillian's uh, rendition of the phone <laughs> number there, just go to the website ShannonOaks.com. All of the email contacts for Sharon and Jillian and and everyone else uh, on the team. Yes. All of the phone numbers. There's even a map for crying out loud so uh, just pop by the website and then if you are interested in trial stay just give them a call and make the arrangements ideal all right we'll be there to help you can't wait okay so you've got a Father's Day uh, brunch uh, tomorrow it's a surprise oh geez and here we oh. are on the radio <laughs> okay so uh, we'll just you can tell us about it next time yeah but okay dad's at Shannon Oaks psst, yeah psst. Big times coming tomorrow morning. Don't Surprise tell them, with the girls. Don't tell them I told you. <laughs> Jillian Fullerton and uh, Sharon Ginter, nice to see you both again. It's always a pleasure to have you two pop Great in. Great to be yeah, here. It's wonderful. ShannonOaks.com, check it out. And we'll see you next time right here on Sea Isle 650's Boomer Life.